Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're going to start the fire and you're watching Cigars Daily. I want to invite you to get more out of this and all our videos now when you watch them on CigarsDailyPlus.com because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. Get yourself into any hobby and eventually you're going to meet the purists. These are the people who know the right way to do everything and they're probably not afraid to tell you about it. They're the ones that tap you on the shoulder as you get started and say, pardon me, uh, let me just educate you real quick and tell you how this is actually done. And to their credit, there are some hobbies where you need to know this stuff. I don't know, like building rockets, which is literally rocket science. You want to know how to build a rocket correctly so that A, it takes off and B, doesn't blow up in your face. But there are so many other hobbies where there aren't a ton of hard fast rules like premium cigars. This is a thing you can enjoy with very little knowledge if you know the basic concept of how not to destroy the whole experience. There is a huge range of ways to get the most out of these for yourself. But when it comes to the cigar purists in our world, and there are plenty of them, one thing you will always hear about is how you light your cigars. To these people, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this, and certainly there is in real life a right and wrong way. The right way is the one that lights your cigar and allows you to enjoy it. The wrong way is the one that leaves your cigar unlit and you confused and sad, maybe crying in the corner, I don't know. But there's a few different ways people generally go about this, and I wanted to take you through each one today. I want you to see what are the differences in lighting methods and what does that really yield. So I'll tell you a couple things before we jump into the first one. I'm going to show you three different lighting methods today, and for each of those, I'm going to use these Macanudo Inspirado whites in the Corona size. These three cigars came out of the same box right next to each other. That's about as good as you're going to do getting cigars that are very similar. Each one is handmade, so they'll be a little bit different, but I'm going to use each different lighting method to get these things going and then tell you guys sort of what the experience is like from that. At the end, hopefully it will help you make a more informed decision about how to light your cigar or maybe even cause you to just think maybe I should try another way but regardless of what you do I hope you'll drop a comment down below and let us know what does lighting a cigar look like for you what do you use and do you have like a ritual behind it I'd love to keep the conversation going with you there and so with no further ado here's the best way to get the best light on your favorite cigars the first method we're going to go over today is actually the one that is used in the cigar industry among cigar workers the most. This is the one we trust, and that's using a good old butane torch like the Cigars Daily one I use in all my reviews. These things are great and trusted by people because they're a reliable source of heat without overheating the instrument you're actually using and burning your fingers. And you can refill these, so lighting a cigar up with a butane torch makes a lot of sense especially if you're the type of person that wants to toast the foot and like get the thing going just right. To do this, you're going to ignite your lighter like a, like a normal lighter and then hold it up to the foot of the cigar where you'll be using the very tip of the flame or just the heat to actually toast the foot. Once you've got it nice and blackened, then you're gonna blow smoke out of the shaft of the cigar and then hold that flame back up, rotate the cigar to get a nice even light. This is the thing that I think so many people like about torches is that like aside from the benefit of being able to refuel them and all this stuff you can control the flame very well with these a torch flame is a very straight flame that doesn't flicker all over like a soft flame which makes it pretty easy not only to light a cigar but to touch the dang thing up if you're smoking and while you're smoking it and this does happen from time to time no matter who you are and so this is the one that I use when I light cigars most of the time and in all my reviews because it seems to be the easiest and one the most functional and best ways to light a cigar. And then we come to a cigar lighting method that is condoned mostly by purists. And if somebody's going to come up and tap you on the shoulder and say, let me educate you, this person is probably going to tell you that matches are the only way to go. Any real cigar smoker knows that you only light your cigars with matches. And certainly I think there's some credibility to that, but I'll explain that in a second. To use these, it's very much the same as using a butane lighter with a couple of small differences. First of all, I recommend using long stem matches 
patches, especially if you intend to toast the foot of your cigar and not just start drawing through the end. But when you go to light, you're gonna strike your matches up and the first thing you gotta do is let them burn for a second. You need to burn through what I think is phosphorus on the head of a match, but regardless of what it is, you don't want it involved in the flavor of your cigar. Let that burn off and then the yellow flame, you'll actually use the flame to toast the foot because it's not as hot as the blue flame coming out of a butane lighter, it's easier to get that toast and that flame flickers all over the damn place, which will make it very hard to light with just the tip of that flame. So you're gonna get that nice toast up and then blow out the smoke and then use the same yellow flame to light your cigar. Now, here is the one thing I gotta say that's a huge credibility to using matches. Even now, as I lit up the first Macanudo Inspirato White with my butane torch, I notice a very different flavor as I light another one up with matches. This one came directly out of the same box right next to it, but the flavor is cleaner immediately from light up. There's more going on and I feel like I can taste more. So I gotta say, it seems like there's credibility to this idea that matches are a good way to light cigars, but certainly it's not the only way. And then there's the ultimate cigar geek way of lighting your sticks, and that is using a cedar spill. These ones are actually dark fire cedar spills we carry on CigarsDaily.com. I like these things because they're an amazing gift to get people who are getting into cigars and want to try stuff like different methods of lighting, and it certainly seems to give you an amazingly pure way of lighting a cigar. The butane lighter uses butane gas to burn and make flames, so there's a gas involved there. The match has phosphorus on the head, so there's phosphorus within that. But these are absolutely pure cedar. So using one of these to light your cigar is really simple and really the most pure way to go about it unless you're gonna like go outside and use a magnifying glass with the sun to light the damn thing. So I really like these, but at the same time, they come with one massive drawback. You have to have another flame source to even use these. With lighters and matches, you can just strike them up or light the lighter and you're like off to the races. At the same time with the cedar spill, you've gotta have have a lighter or matches on hand to actually light the cedar spill. But again, you're gonna do this almost identically to how you use matches. Once you have done the frustrating task of like holding your cigar in your mouth so that you can light your cedar spill, then you're gonna toast the foot of the cigar, followed by blowing out a little bit of that smoke, and then you use that same yellow flame to actually light the cigar up. And again, that yellow flame is kind of unruly. It moves all over the place, so it makes it harder to get it even light. Again, another reason people like butane torches so much. But you've got such a pure element lighting your cigar, the only thing I could possibly add is that nice cedar aroma to the smoke. And it's something that's very desirable for a lot of cigar smokers out there. And I'll say, after lighting up this Inspirato White Corona with the cedar spill, the experience is very much similar to what I got out of lighting it with matches. It's got a really nice, very clean flavor. Probably the only thing I could say would be a remote difference from matches is that there's noticeably a little bit more of a cedar taste to this cigar right here. So certainly not a totally neutral flavor when you light it with a cedar spill, but if you're going for purity, it's probably not a bad way to go. And I gotta say, it's been a long time since I've sat down and done all three different lighting methods side by side. It's something I actually really enjoyed doing in this video because it did give me a really good inside look at the differences. I've been using my butane lighter for so long that I just don't think about anything else, but I really do feel like I got a more pure experience from using matches. The cedar spills were really great, although a little more frustrating to use because I already had to use my lighter, which is what I use anyway, and then I had that little little bit of cedar taste on there, and I think there are probably some cigars where I'd be looking for that to come through, and some where I really wouldn't, so cedar spills, at least for me, isn't one to use for every cigar, but there are a select few where it would enhance the experience. And I gotta be honest, I didn't expect to find myself agreeing with the cigar purists that matches are the best way to go, but if you're into amazing pureness of flavor and you want everything from light up, it's definitely something that's worth a try. And I'll ask you again, throw it down below. What do you use to light your cigars and how do you use it? Like, let us know what your ritual looks like and if you're just getting into cigars, check what people say down there because a lot of these people have tremendous experience in the cigar world. And I wanna invite you to check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily and I will see you 
in the comments.